Hello. In this lesson 11c, I will continue on the on the forest economics theme, but now add also some comparative statics and uh, and some uh, more modern extensions to the classic uh, uh, Faustmann model. So in the previous lesson, we found this kind of uh, uh, optimal solution to the to the Faustmann type uh, optimal rotation model, and we found that uh, that uh, forest uh, owner would set uh, or, or have this kind of length of the rotation such that marginal revenue of delaying the harvest uh, would be equal to marginal cost of waiting this uh, this uh, this uh, current rotation plus marginal cost of delaying future income streams from from future rotations so what do we mean by comparative statics so we can also then think about that how does this um, uh, optimal solution change for example if uh, if one some of these our constants changes so what if there is for example increase in, in the timber price or increase in the interest rate r or if we have some kind of harvesting cost uh, c which is constant so this type of type of questions then then we can we can analyze using a so-called comparative statics it kind of refers to the to the uh, to the physics it's not statistics but 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 statics so how this kind of kind of solution then changes if the if the price of timber which is which was assumed to be this constant p changes so firstly notice that uh, that uh, this p is uh, constant in the in the both left hand side and in both uh, components on the right hand side so essentially this uh, capital p cancels out like in the in the case of the single rotation model so in that sense it it might be tempting to think that uh, that uh, change in the price of timber doesn't really change anything so another way to think about it is that uh, that suppose that there is some some kind of uh, uh, expected price increase in the future so suppose that this price p is constant uh, in the present period but uh, but in the future this this price is expected to grow so then it would only affect the price in the last term in that if that is the case then then uh, this marginal cost of delaying future income streams would would increase so so expected future growth in the prices would then then mean that uh, it is optimal to harvest uh, earlier than than otherwise if there's a constant constant uh, price and we can think about this price also that it's it's a real price uh, that that it's sort of inflation adjusted so price increase due to inflation we shouldn't really really take into account but of course if there's price uh, price growth uh, um, in addition to the to the inflation then then it would would perhaps uh, uh, decrease the the harvesting time otherwise if the prices are not not keeping up with the inflation then it is better to to wait longer a similar situation is also if we, if we introduce this harvesting cost so as i mentioned in the previous lesson we can think about this price p as this kind of net price so it would be would be uh, total sales minus harvesting costs so if the harvesting costs are baked into this capital p then uh, again if there is like like uh, like uh, let's say instantaneous change in the harvesting cost it would only affect this uh, constant p but remember that this p just cancels out so 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 this kind of uh, one of um, instant uh, change in the harvesting cost also doesn't change anything however if it is like like it's not change affecting the current uh, or if this let's say this current um, rotation but in the in the further away in the future harvesting costs are decreasing or increasing suppose that it would be harvesting cost decreasing then then again it would be that this uh, same effect as if the if the price of timber the real price of timber would uh, would uh, increase and therefore then the the length of this uh, capital t the rotation time would become shorter then what about the interest rate r 
So R is not entering the left hand side of the model, it's only on the on the right hand side. So if the interest rate increases, uh, that means that marginal cost of waiting increases. So in that sense, uh, uh, there is a higher opportunity cost if the if the forest is uh, um, forest is uh, is harvested quicker. So so therefore, this would tend to then decrease the the optimal rotation time t. So increase in the in the interest rate or the discount rate then decreases the rotation time. And opposite is also true that if R is decreasing, then then uh, then this marginal cost of waiting is smaller. So therefore, it's it's optimal to then let the forest grow a little bit longer. So this kind of kind of uh, insights we can also gain from this kind of uh, optimization model by using so-called comparative statics. So let's then go to a little bit uh, further extension. So this is of course, of course this kind of very classic uh, um, Faustmann type model. So if we think about now more more this kind of also environmental issues, uh, uh, for example. It would be relevant to also think about the forest as a as a carbon sink, perhaps also biodiversity, so that in the previous analysis we didn't really take into account that there could be also multiple tree species, and uh, it might be also important to leave some of this uh, uh, trees standing as so called seed trees, so they can then then uh, uh, help to grow this uh, this uh, next uh, generation of forest. Uh, and I also I think I briefly mentioned, but it's good to mention again that uh, that there has been kind of tendency to to in, in the past it was this kind of uh, traditional approach was this kind of clear cut harvesting that the, the entire forest uh, uh, forest plot is is harvested at the same time. Uh, nowadays, then this kind of thinning is also also increasingly used, uh, and then also also it's important to take into account various types of risks so this uh, this previous model uh, assumes that uh, that uh, the forest is growing at that sort of deterministic uh, uh, fashion however there's also in addition to the price risk that I, I mentioned there's also a possibility of forest fire or pest damages and these are also related to the to the climate change uh, that uh, that the risk of forest fire and uh, and uh, new pests is is uh, increasing and and these can also influence this uh, decision that when to when to harvest and how to how to harvest so as an example of the of a very recent uh, work on this kind of uh, uh, optimal forest management i here mention a, a recent article by by some finnish researchers uh, uh, led by professor Olli Tahvonen. and uh, in this this study the authors uh, utilize modern uh, machine learning techniques such as uh, reinforcement learning and they take into account many of those uh, those issues that uh, that I, I just mentioned uh, uh, on the previous slide uh, so here is for example this kind of uh, time path time path on the on the left side of the of this figure that how this kind of uh, harvesting might might look like when we take into account this kind of uh, thinning that uh, that uh, the deterministic uh, solution is indicated by red line, which is most visible on this slide. So so there is uh, there is uh, for each each rotation there is two times some some thinning, and then there is a uh, third one is uh, is a clear cut, after which there is new 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 round. Uh, but then if if there's also take into account this kind of uh, uh, random. Uh, price risks and also risk of fire then then these uh, stochastic uh, realizations can can look also somewhat different so it's also possible that the sort of that the, the forest manager is observing the growth and and sort of updating also also continuously uh then there's also possibility to to think about that 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 this uh, there might be multiple different species so so the right the right hand side it indicates also that 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 uh, that how this kind of harvesting with multiple species can be can be done and uh, and there is this more colorful 
the spruce is this this biggest one in this example, but there's also uh, birch, pine, aspen uh, included. And I noticed that this uh, this um, birch and aspen, uh, their volume is uh, increasing in the in the in the future in this uh, this example, presumably because also taking into account the, the impacts of climate change. But uh, as you can see, then then. Uh, with the modern optimization techniques and using using uh, machine learning techniques, then it's possible to take into account uh, many of these kind of issues uh, mentioned mentioned here, including including this kind of thinning strategies, risk management, but also also uh, biodiversity and carbon sinks. So this this is uh, and this also illustrates that there is. Uh, this kind of literature uh it's not some kind of just only of historical interest but but it's still under active research nowadays so the next theme is then uh, accounting for the environment so then then we look into how the uh, conventional system of national accounts and and gdp could be uh, complemented with some environmental and and resources accounts Thanks for your attention and see you next time.